YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for the finale issue of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. The sewers, the streets, and as always, it was a good issue. I feel like all these issues have honestly been of mostly the same quality, which is a solid 4 out of 5. That's right, boom, score right at the beginning. This video is only 20 seconds long. No, it's probably gonna be longer when I put the intro on. It's gonna be like 30 seconds, but you know what I mean? No, the video's not ending here. But you know what I mean, is in general, I haven't been really disappointed in this. It hasn't been like, oh my god, this is the most amazing thing you've ever seen, but it's just been great and enjoyable. So we pick up where we left off, as all stories do, where you have the Dimension X Rangers having just transformed, and they're fighting against Rita. So you have the final battle on two fronts. You have the Dimension X Rangers and Dimension X, shocker, uh, fighting Rita, like I just said three seconds ago. And then you have uh, Krang Megazord, Krang the Conqueror, fighting the Mutant Rangers and Shredder in the primary dimension. So let's talk about the Dimension X stuff first, since I mentioned it first. Honestly, as I did really enjoy this issue. I did feel the conflicts were a little bit anticlimactic. You know, there's just a little bit of a fun battle between them. And she briefly, green with evil's Casey, which is rather generic. I'm glad it didn't last very long, because when it first happened, I was like, oh man, like rolling my eyes a little bit. Because like, we did the double agent thing, and then we do green with evil. But it lasts like five seconds, and then he breaks free of the mind control, and that's how they end up defeating Rita. Uh, th there's some fun little, like, banter in the dialogue, like, it really feels like you're reading or watching a TMNT story where, like, they say, like, 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 Casey freaking out, you know, when he's attacking them after being taken over by Rita, the turtle say something to the effect of, like, man, I've heard of losing your mind over a girl, but this is ridiculous. Like, it's, like, cheesy TMNT one-liners, which, which I really like, and even though this is very much a ranger thing with them all suited up and everything, it reminded me of an earlier issue when the turtles were just interacting with Shredder, and it's, like, for a second, you just feel like you're just reading a TMNT comic because there's nothing ranger-related going on, and you're just living with the turtles being the turtles. So you got that stuff. I think the more major stuff happened in the Earth stuff. Although, it's funny, because the climactic final battle, like the real deal final battle, felt like it was between Shredder, Alpha, and the Krang Megazord, because you have the Mutant Rangers on the ground, and they kind of assist a little bit, and Tommy gets to breathe some fire, but they're kind of inconsequential to the final battle, or at least that's how I felt. Uh, there's some fun bits in there, though, with the turtles, again, with the, or the turtles, the mutants, with some of the dialogue. Like, even later on, some dialogue about Tommy's like, I miss being able to breathe fire, but there's a funny bit where you got the Krang Megazord, and Tommy's like, I can't play the flute in this form. So you have Shredder transforming, using a Shadow Morpher, the return of Green Ranger Shredder. I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't get a newer version of the suit, but maybe next time, because they're clearly setting him up for next time. But he, he pilots the Dragon Zord again, and then we get a new version of the Metalhead Megazord, which looks really cool. I'm glad there were some surprises. I mentioned in last time's review that I was disappointed that like some of the surprises for stuff like this are taken out by them announcing it in comic covers like months in advance. Like the Dimension X Rangers and the Mutant X Rangers, Mutant X Rangers, but the Mutant Rangers were, you know, leaked. Not leaked, you know what I mean. They do press releases for their biggest twists. So, I was glad there was a couple cool surprises in this, like the, the Metalhead Megazord. That shows up, again, Alpha's piloting it, and then they do another combo of the Turtle Dragon Zord, which I love this one. I think it's really cool. I think it looks great. You know, the comic Megazords can be hit and miss. I know they're sort of... I don't think the Turtles ones are, but I know they're sort of controversial in the fandom. I personally like them. Even when the design's not my favorite, I like them, because I personally don't care about, well, being a purist and that's not designed by Sentai. I, first of all, I prefer that. But also, I don't care about that they don't logically make sense in terms of a combiner. I just like seeing the cool comic booky designs. And even for the ones I don't care for so much, I would love to get, like, figures of. Like, these Turtles ones. It would be cool to get, like, a Megazord scale figure, but I would even, wouldn't even mind getting, like, a kind of deluxe lightning collection on the scale of the Monsters figures. But bottom line is, is I really like this design. I think it was really cool. And uh, the, the Krang Megazord, too. You know, it's not the most creative, but it's got this cool menace to it, which is rather neat and, uh, like, kind of some horror vibes at times, it, it basically, it, it makes sense. Like, it makes sense that it wouldn't overhaul the whole design or anything like that, but I like it for what it is. But that, that's funny, though, to me, that the final battle is basically Alpha and Shredder in the Megazord fighting that. And then we get some sort of epilogue -y stuff. Uh, you have all the rangers hanging out with the turtles at the juice bar, and all the turtles get their human forms, and we have some fun kind of, you know, end of adventure interactions. Uh, they talk a little bit about Casey, like, oh man, you know, Casey feels guilt over what's happening. I hope he's okay. And that's when we seg into, seg into, segue into um, kind of the cliffhangers slash setups for potential future stuff where Casey is deciding to go to Dimension X to return the Morphers and to fight there for a little bit. But guess who's joining him? I was trying to think of someone funny to join him, and then I couldn't think. 
It's Ashley. It's, who's Ashley? It's April. I don't know where Ashley came from. I mean, obviously Power Rangers, but I don't know why I just said Ashley. But anyway, it's April. April is joining him, and she is the Yellow Dimension X Ranger, which was really cool to see. And again, I've stated this before, but I love the Dimension X Ranger suits. I definitely wish there was a little bit more differentiation in their helmets, but on the whole, I love the suits. They're some of my favorite comic suits because they're such cool crossover concept suits of the Dimension X having its own Rangers, and it works so much for this crossover, and yet they look like suits that could just be designed for a Power Rangers storyline. Like, the Turtles ones, obviously, are very, you know, this is a Turtles Ranger, but this one, like, these suits for Casey and her look like, I could totally see these being just in a comic, or, or just original suits on their own. And a lot of people were disappointed that April didn't get to become a Ranger this time around, so it was really cool to get to see that. So, they tee that up for further adventures for the next crossover. They also seal away Rita and Krang, and then we get kind of a cliffhanger -y bit with uh, Shredder is at Rita's palace, or Zed's palace, or whatever you want to call it, in Zed's chair, and he's making an alliance with Zed, and he also still has the Green Ranger Morpher, sort of teeing up the idea for a potential sequel, which is really cool. Um, I'll talk about that in a second, just to give my overall final thoughts again on this. I really did enjoy this issue. The final battles were a little bit anticlimactic, but overall, it was still just as enjoyable as the rest of it. It included pretty much all the stuff I've been enjoying about the comic so far, which is the great merging of the mythologies, the great character interactions, and it was overall just a satisfying and fun adventure that made me excited for more. And like I said at the top of the review, four out of five. As far as the future, I love the idea that they want to do more because I've been really enjoying this series. I only have mixed thoughts because on just a personal level, it's like, at some point in the history of them doing this, they have to touch on the Season 3 suits, like, right? It's ninja-themed. It's right there. I feel like with this, it tees it up to be just an immediate crossover, so you wouldn't get to do that. So maybe I'm hoping that they do, like, a trilogy, and then they do another fourth story later, that maybe after a little bit of a time jump that takes place during the Season 3 time, because I would love to see some hybrid designs uh, with the ninja suits and the ninja zords, I think that would be cool. It just, it seems like a missed opportunity because I would never expect them to do something like Ninja Storm or Ninja Steel, but that's in the MMPR realm and it's got ninjas in it. But regardless, I am excited for the potential of a future crossover, and I also think it's cool that, like, obviously this is another alternate reality. You know, you have the show world, the boom world, and then the boom turtles world. But this is almost like taking the events of the show, like, as we know them, you know, like, when we talk about MMPR for the comics and for everything, we kind of structure it like season one time, season two time, season three time, and stuff like that. And this is like this weird alternate reality where Rita being sealed away with Krang is like the end of the season one storylines, and now we're moving into season two, but with the turtles, which I think is kind of cool, because I've mentioned previously in these reviews that I like how this these worlds fit together so seamlessly, where it feels like they're two properties in the same universe crossing over rather than two different properties crossing over, but yeah, I really enjoyed this issue. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you check out um, both crossovers. I'm looking forward to hopefully an announcement of more, and I want figures of pretty much everything that was in this, so I hope we get them. I'm going to do one more kind of overall series review, kind of discussing my big picture thoughts on it at some point in the coming weeks, so look out for that. And I was considering maybe putting all of these videos into one giant video, so if someone wants to see my individual thoughts in one long marathon, whew, that sounds like a nightmare, maybe I shouldn't do that. But anyway, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you get notifications for all my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.